What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It is yours truly, Fit City. We're in the new office. Uh, not quite done yet. There will be a little bit of a scenery change, but we are back in the new house, the new office. And we got a special video to go over today, talking about the Therian form of Thunderous. And make sure you stay tuned because we're going to talk about the new Pokemon, Electros, that got released today as well. Let's get into it. Okay, so Thunderous Therian Form just got a move update, a shakeup, which is good news for both, you know, uh, Landorus, whoo, Landorus Therian Form, oh, and of course, uh, Tornadus Therian Form too. They will be getting new moves as well, and that's extremely exciting. So, what did Thunderous Therian Form get? It got Bite, Volt Swish, and then for charge moves, Sludge Wave, Thunder, Focus Blast, and Thunderbolt. So, people have been kind of dissecting, is this actually viable for raids? Answer is yes. Is it viable for PvP? Uh, maybe. Uh, Volt Switch will charge up Thunderbolt and Sludge Wave pretty quickly, and those moves will deal a ton of damage, but I'm not really sure what you're going to be trying to cover in the Master League. Uh, Thunderbolt would basically cover uh, any water types, but the only water type you really come across is Kyogre. It will cover Togekiss as well, but that's about it. And then Sludge Wave, also Togekiss counter, but you're not really covering any of the electric types. You're doing decent damage, uh, stab damage, neutral damage to um, Pokemon like Metagross and Melmetal. But when it comes to Dialga, it resists electric with that Dragon typing, so it's hit and miss. PvP, no. So let's go over how viable it is in raids. So right off the bat, this is all the good electric type attackers in raids that we currently have. Zekrom, Therian Form Thunderous, Electivire, Magnezone, Raikou, and Zapdos. Now, Zekrom is still king with a really, really, it's the worst fast move for electric types, Charge Beam. Even with that, Charge Beam and Wild Charge, it has a DPS of 1915. That is about 75% higher, or it's about 0.75, excuse me, higher than Thunderous Therian. But that just goes to show you that Thunderous Therian form is actually still really good with Volt Switch. Uh, if it had Wild Charge, it might be a different story. Uh, Electivire, Thundershock, Wild Charge still hanging in there pretty good at 1736. We got Magazone, Spark, Wild Charge hanging in there at 1705. Raikou is still a staple in the raid game. It is a staple. I have 100% maxed out one. I've had it since 2018. Thundershock Wild Charge just come in at a whopping 18.04. And it actually has, get this. This is where you could argue for Raikou over Therian Form Thunderous though. Has a higher total damage output than Thunderous Therian Form. And you're probably thinking, well, why is that? Well, there's one thing we gotta remember. It's squishy, guys. The attack stat, is to the moon it's massive but its defense and its stamina went down the drain it never really was high to begin with but it did sacrifice more of its defensive capabilities which is with its there in form so should you do these hell yes absolutely you should try to get a very good iv thunderous there in form it is a fantastic pokemon for raids and as always, and you should always live by this, whether it's raids or PV, uh, PvP, a Pokemon is always one move away from being viable. Like, extremely viable. Being meta. I would argue that Thunderous Therian Form is meta in the raid scene as is. It's a really cool Pokemon. It packs a punch. Kind of think of it as Gengar, although Gengar is the king of ghost types. It's just not that usable in raids because it dies in half a second. So that's kind of how you can treat Thunderous Therian Form. So bring your Zekrom, bring your Therian Form Thunderuses, bring your Raikou, bring your Magnezone, Electivire, and Zapdos into your raids if your electric typings are doing super effective damage. Now, one thing that's really going to hit like a truck, and one thing I want to point out before we move on to Electros, is if someone's using either a Mega Ampharos or a Mega Manetric, and then everyone else is using Thunderous Therian Form, holy crap, you're going to hit like a truck. Because you're using the highest attack stat Electric-type in the game. So just something to think about. 
Now let's go on to go into Electros. This Pokemon is extremely exciting. I'm very excited for this Pokemon. First of all, it's cool. It's an eel type Pokemon. Uh, 3089, 217 attack, 152 defense, 198 stamina. So it could be really good in Premier Master League, or it could be really good in the Ultra League, just except it's gonna be a little squishy. But here's what I mean. Let's look at the moves. <laughs> and the moves are insane. So you wanna go with Spark, you've got options. Thunderbolt, Dragon Claw, Crunch, Acid Spray. You could do the Dragon Claw with um, with a bait tactic, and then hit with a Crunch or a Thunderbolt, what you're going after. You could use Acid Spray as a bait tactic, and use Thunderbolt or Crunch or whatnot. So let's go over some possible coverages that you could come across. Uh, in the Master League, Dragon Claw, obviously, the Dragon types. There's Garchomp and Dragonite. That's what you would come across in Premiere. Thunderbolt would cover Togekiss. Uh, you could argue Acid Spray, but it's really not going to do that much damage. But uh, Thunderbolt will cover Togekiss, and it could cover any kind of other water types. You might see an Empoleon here and there. It actually isn't a terrible Pokemon. Um, one thing that's going to be interesting, though, is uh, Crunch would not cover Machamp so well. So if you were Dragon Claw Crunch, you'd have to use Dragon Claw. This Pokemon would struggle against Machamp. Um, but it does have some coverages against some normal Pokemon in Premier uh, Master League. Of course, Crunch would take care of Gengar. Gengar is an extremely good Pokemon in Master Premier. Uh, if we go into Ultra League Open, just Ultra League Open, Dragon Claw Crunch, those two moves by themselves already cover Giratina. Also, Crunch covers um, Cresselia, and it also covers Gengar. So, there is some really good coverage here. Dragon Claw obviously would cover, you know, Dragonite. I see him every now and then. Thunderbolt wouldn't cover it as much as you would think. The only thing it would cover is Togekiss. Uh, I actually, I lied. It would also cover Empoleon and it would uh, cover uh, Charizard. This is an open ultra. I only play open ultra. Um, so this is just kind of some ideas of how this Pokemon can be used in PvP. It's actually really good. I think it's a, it's a great Pokemon to have maybe as a safe swap. Uh, I don't know if I would lead with it. I would use this as your Swiss Army Knife weapon. You would have a good uh, a good lead Pokemon. You'd have a good closer in the back. This is your Swiss Army Knife. This is your sw safe switch in the middle. Now, of course, if you switch into this as a safe switch and they switch into Swampert, GG's, have a good one. We'll see you later. But that's what you're trying to hopefully avoid. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. It's good to be back in the new office, in the new home, doing these videos. Uh, how excited are you for these Pokemon? I'm pretty excited. Theron Thunderous is really sweet. Electros is really sweet. Make sure you're doing those. Is it Tynamo raids? I can't even remember. Yeah, Tynamo raids. Make sure you're doing those. Uh, oh, and then, by the way, this might be meta in the Great League too, by the way. Haha. -ha. So make sure you try to get a good uh, Great League IV electric as well. Smash that like button, subscribe if you have done so already, be part of the Fit City fam. And remember, for just $2 a month, you could be a part of our Discord raid channel. Raid chat, we're doing raids all the freaking time. Thunderous, you name it. You need that shiny, you'll get it. You'll be friends with me and Pokemon Go with everyone else in the Discord. You'll never miss out on a raid. It's just $2 a month, and there's some other perks and stuff as well. Just hit join right underneath the video right now, or just go to Patreon if you don't want to give YouTube your money, and you want to rather have most of your money go towards me for $2 for support. Uh, you can go to Patreon as well. Those links are in the description. That's it for the way for the city. I'm signing off. See you guys in the next Pokemon Go video.